3 nanometer is 30 thousandths of the thickness of human hair. Samsung Electronics has successfully begun the mass production of semiconductors containing such finite circuits. It's not only a world first, but also the most advanced of all existing chip processing technologies. But there are remaining tasks to overcome, such as bringing down the defect rate. These are semiconductor wafers on which Presidents Yoon Sung yeol and Joe Biden wrote their signatures during the U.S. leader's recent visit to South Korea. The wafers that drew global attention were none other than Samsung's three nanometer chips whose mass production kicked off Thursday. They were still a prototype at the time. Now Samsung became the first in the world to begin production. Three nanochips contain electric circuits that are around one thirty thousandth the thickness of human hair. A new design technology of piling up electricity passageways in several layers helps ramp up data processing speed and provides greater energy efficiency. According to Samsung, compared to the five nanometer process, electricity use is reduced by 45 percent and performance is improved by 23 percent. One major task is bringing down the defective rate. The South Korean tech giant's 4 nanometer chips had a high defect rate. 실망 계산이 된다면은 삼성전자의 반도체 부분, 특히 파운드리 부분의 경쟁력을 지금보다는 더 높여 주는 하나의 계기가 될 것으로 보고 있습니다. Another task is securing clients interested in the new product. In the global semiconductor fabrication plant or foundry market, Samsung held the market share of 16.3% in Q1, down by 2 percentage points on quarter. The global leader is Taiwan's TSMC, whose market share has gone up to 53.6 percent. Samsung Electronics is once again put to the test, as rising interest rates and recession fears around the world cast a cloud over the IT sector. 